Hey, good evening. So we did the base frame, we did the gantry, we mounted the control board and the motor. Now we need to do the wiring. This is the power supply. This is the control cable. This is the offline controller. And we have three stepper motor cables. So let's get the stepper motor cables on. Now these are a standard length and as you can see here, you don't have that far, you don't have this far. So I have a lot of extras. A five pin goes in the stepper motor. There we go. Now that needs to come down. It needs to have a lot of play. And this is Z. So put the tabs up and those will plug right in. Now, on the X, if you remember, put the stepper motor cable down. The tabs go to the front of the motor. So I just plug that in. Okay, so last one, I have the five pin. Tabs go to the top of the motor. So the X comes over and gets plugged amazingly enough into the X motor slot. Tabs go up. Y goes to the Y motor slot. There we go. Okay, just for completeness, power plugs right there. This is the control cable. It mounts right here. So we'll pull that out. Now, this cable and this cable, I've got to do differently. And I'll put those up so that this cable goes under them. So these I just need to permanently mount. These are gonna to have to slide back and forth. What I'm going to do to control these is to take solid wire. This is 26 gauge cable. Now these two, as they come off here, are gonna to stay together. So I'm actually just gonna wind this wire around there as a very crude cable management. I will eventually get some loom and put on there, but I don't have any right now. Uh, that has to be able to go all the way over there, which I'm sure has more than enough cable. Uh, now these two stepper motors. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. That looks a little better. Doesn't look like wires everywhere. Okay, so while we're here, we have this offline control board. Notice that it's keyed on one side. And that socket is keyed and it just fits right in that socket. Okay, so on this, that is end stops and other things. So they give the provision for end stops. That's actually good. Now this has to be here because it has to move back and forth. This on the other hand is kind of static. There we go. That looks a lot better. Okay, so I've got power on. It was already turned on. And I've got this little handheld thing. The Y is the up down, the X is back and forth until you actually get to where you want to exercise it. So let's do OK for control. Well, it would appear that I have not tightened up the coupler. So let's do that. It's a little awkward now. Okay, so I know I should be able to do Y minus to drive that table back. Well, that was bad. That's why you need end stops. There's some noise coming out under here. That noise is this anti-backlash nut. Hear it rattle.
Ooh, the spindle came on. Apparently, if you hit that OK, the spindle comes on. So, it seems to work OK. We know the spindle works. And what about the X? I probably don't want to go any more than that. We'll call that home. Okay, what about Z? Does Z work? About three times is the full movement. Got it together. Basic construction. The first video we did the base frame. The second video we did the gantry. Third video we did all the wiring. And tested everything. So we're doing good. Now the on off button's down in here. That whining you hear is the fan right there. So I think this was pretty successful. So there we go. The next video we'll do our first cut. So if you like the videos, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.